Welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today is a quick video about tools. So this video is going to go under help desk support entry level to specialist. Click on login. And once you go to the course, click on the course. And this video is going to be under my tools, which is which can be located inside the course. Or you can come to forums and on the bottom, it's in my tools right here this video is going to go under networking tools so when you click on that it will be under free windows admin tools it's basically desktop central provide a set of free windows admin tools that windows administrators might require on a day-to-day -day basis and i'm going to open this tool and kind of give you guys a real world example how it helped me with some of the things that i do um normally okay so I'm going to provide you guys the link once you click on the link this is the link that I uh, will give you guys and it has like a summary of uh, everything that this tool have it has like all these uh, tools inside this one tool so it's pretty cool uh, download it I already downloaded it and uh, the download is it looks like this I'm going to let me see I put it on my share here so uh, all right so the download will look like this double click on it once you download it it will give you two um, screens the first one just click next and the second one is the one I want you guys to open up you will get this on your um, on your desktop but the main one is you have to search for it right click go to search and if you have Windows 7 you will just click on that search area and then type tools and this is what you want here uh, desktop central free tools you can put it in, put it on your desktop you can do whatever you want to do it with it I'm just gonna click on it and when you install this you'll see this screen too but it's good to know where it is so once you have this these are the tools that it's um, in there so you have software inventory you have shutdown restart so for example if I want to shut down and restart a client machine I can do it uh, GPO update is the one that I really like in this one you can do it two ways either do it this way or remote command prompt but I this is one is the easy one I'll give you guys an example of real world because this course is related to everything that we do in real life so we just uh, for example I had an application I had to install it in one of my servers and that application shortcut needs to be on each and every users machine so in the last video I showed you guys how to create a group policy management so in that group policy management area we created a policy of shortcut so that shortcut we we say that this shortcut needs to go to all the domain uh, computers anything that's connected to our domain they, they need to have this um, a shortcut on their desktop and to do that you create a policy and now everybody was there that's 300 users 300 computers and we didn't want it to tell people to restart their computers and emails out and all that we just created a policy but to do that you need to push that policy now without having them restart because somebody some people have computers left on for days and uh, it won't apply till they restart their computers so what this can do is this can push it without even having them restart the computer so I put the um, policy then I went to GPU update and then you can do it other ways too but this is just to, to tell you guys you know you guys can do it this way you put a domain name in there you put your domain administrator name and passwords and then you put your computer a comma B C D whatever you want to put that if you have a list I did it through some other tools so I create a list here but just to sh tell you guys that this can help you with a different scenario too like you know you might have one computer that you put a policy on it and you wanna uh, do something with that computer you wanna lock it down you wanna see what other security policy that you wanna apply but you don't want them to restart the computer you can come back here put the computer name do GPU update and it will instantly apply on their computers that's how this is a real world example that you're gonna be waking up other this tool can help you with wake online let's say for example one computer is um, your computer is basically shut down but your nick is on a network card you can restart the computer from here and work on it join and unjoin computer from a uh, domain so if i click on this you have different ways you can you can put a you can change the domain to domain so if you have a computer on contoso.com but you want to 
change it to jobskillshare.com you can do that you can put all domain address here you can put a new one say move and restart the computer after that it will automatically restart the computer and save you a lot of time you can put a work group computer to domain your rpc server needs to be enabled which is kind of a little bit different here so you can do that domain to work group you can also do that you can put a uh, you can let's say for example this computer is my um uh, domain computer and I don't want this computer to be on domain anymore or maybe it got infected I really need to get this computer out of the domain so that make sure that I uh, either I would do certain things like I, I really don't want this computer on my domain anymore I'll just quickly come here put it down here put move and uh, let's say I'm not physically there I'll do this restart the computer and it will remove that computer from a domain and it will restart as a work group and we're gonna test it out see if it's going to really work or not other things network share browser you could uh, use this for uh, different things you can find a share see who's actively logged into that share access file people will tell you what uh, what username and everybody's logged in we're going to test this out too other things you can do is currently logged on a user so if I say let's say for example who's logged into this machine so I say I put my domain name I put a uh, administrator password and then I'm going to put the computer name I just like to put it this way so that it really works good so it tells me that computer name admin username is logged in right now is administrator and operating complete success operation complete to tell me that it was successful so that that's the benefit of this remote task manager you can remotely see what's going on what what's running on the other machine so I'll put like my password here again so let's say password and I'll put a computer name address that I say get processes and this is what's going on into the uh, the machine right now so let's say for example in client machine right now I have uh, Explorer working and I want to make sure I want to do is I want to kill that process from here so I'm going to do in process process kill successfully I'm going to go down and see what's going on in the client machine and there's no more IE anymore so that's how um, I don't know why would you use this but you could I mean there would be there might be some kind of scenario that will you will come across you have to do this this kind of, there might be a outlook might be hang or some application is hanged and you want to do it without going into there you or you're remotely working with somebody you can do it that way hardest space detector you could check the hardest of a machine from your local user and groups you can find local group who's the lo what's what groups are in there that machine uh, you can basically do it from here uh, other things like this one I, I don't know if you want to use it power monitor but these are the things you can do so what we can do in this um, video right now is let's just go ahead and do some kind of test that it does it really work like we just test few one uh, we're gonna do this one jo join and unjoin computer from the domain I want to see if that one works because I really like to do this sort of stuff if because it's really hard to go on the computer and then you wait for you put your username and password and then it just prompts ah restart the computer and then you know it, it's kind of it's a little bit of a headache so I like to do these kind of stuff like if it's really work so this computer we have is an admin computer which is a Windows 8.1 and I am on the domain computer and I want to remove that computer and put it on whatever work group that I decide right now and I'm going to do that right now domain to work group so what you will do is you will put your domain um, uh, information here controlso.com and this is going to be your company domain name if you don't know where to get it you can right click on it go to uh, computer properties in windows 7 or system in windows 8 and it will tell you right here this is right here controlso.com is my domain and then i'm going to put my username which is you do have to be a administrator administrator i'm going to put my password and I'm gonna put computer name I always put a full computer name to make sure it works and I will decide what gr group that I want so I'd say job skill share is the group that I want I put administrator here and then I'm going to put a password for DNS you don't need that I want to restart this computer when I do this 
so double check you want this computer from domain to work group you put your domain you put your domain administrator put the right password check the names and this is the work group that I want on that computer on make sure this is also correct and then click on move connecting to domain it says successfully connected right now and it's doing its thing you just wait for it a little bit and you will get this little say not responding but that's fine just leave it it's doing its thing and they say the process completely successful so now what happened is successfully unjoined from contoso.com and this is where you see automatically is telling this this will less than a minute windows will shut down in less than a minute this is i didn't touch that computer everything is going on its own right now admin.contoso.com successfully joined to the job skill share work group now we're going to see after a minute which i'm just going to close it right now and look it's restarting and after this machine when it restart it shouldn't be on domain that means it's gone from domain so we're just going to wait and you shouldn't see like a uh, login to contoso.com it should have a local username and uh, whatever local uh, username is in there right now so there you go um, this is a different information but you this is what you're gonna see local usernames are there right now this is not on domain it's gone from domain no group policy can be pushed anymore this computer is off the domain and now whatever you want to do with that machine you can do it you can put back work group to domain put the the jobskillshare.com here put administrator put the same password do the same thing it will put a domain to domain so it's a pretty cool stuff so I'm not gonna go too much in detail you it's up to you whatever however you, you guys want to use this for your scenarios but this is out there so it's free uh, take advantage of this thank you for watching the video see you guys in a different one